Hey guys, what's going on? So, first of all, sorry it's been a while. Once again, um, I've been very busy with life. <laughs> so, as the last video, you guys saw how we did how we did the image with this. But I think this tutorial we should make it so we can maybe upload an image with the status. Um, yeah, we'll do that. So. Basically, this is going to contain file uploading, um, verification, I guess, well, validation, sorry, and um, a little bit of CSS, I guess. So, first of all, we want a nice file upload, but I guess, like, do you, you know how Facebook has it, so let's 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 do this. Um, so it's been a little while, I may forget where things are in this project, but I still know how to use Laravel, <laughs> no worries there. <laughs> So, um, let's find the page. Uh, it's going to be on home, isn't it? Yep. Um, so, first of all, I feel we should split this here with a row. And we'll do two sixes. Um, reason for this, we're going to put this one inside there. And inside here, we'll just... In fact, we don't want to copy that. Um, this copy over this HTML uh, CSS sorry and mm, mm, don't know if I want the border I'm gonna remove that if I want it we'll add it back and image. didn't work <laughs> um We can click it. That's that's the bonus. Let's try this. Nice. Okay, sweet. I like that. And we're going to add background color. And we're just going to darken it a little bit. That looks fine for now. That'll do. Um, so you can click it, select file, whatnot. That's great. Um, now we actually need to go ahead and do the upload. So, um, where is this? So first of all, we're going to need a name for this. Status image upload. I'm just going to copy that. Go ahead to app. HTTP controllers. I assume it's going to be home controller. Yes, so like say a status text. Yep. Here's where we post a new status. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add if input has status image. And we're gonna do has file. And then in here, we're going to have to add files true. Mm -mm -mm. Now, we want to, we really do need to validate this content. So let's validate equals validator. Um, make and let's do we haven't got requests there have we yep let's change that to request now we need to make our rules which we're going to put here so we don't forget um, so, 
we're going to have the status. Yep, status text. Uh, required. Now, let me just quickly check to see. If there's a text validation rule, I can't remember if there is. Yep. So. That's brilliant. One second. Quiet string. Okay. We don't need to validate the user ID. Um, we're going to need to do the image. So what we will do is we'll do this down here so we can do um, status image upload equals file actually image sorry sweet and then this will do its thing down here really we should probably do it inside as well Validator fails. We'll run our code. Validation failed. Just so we can see our error. Do validate errors and sorry guys I'm thinking this out with you guys as I'm going along um, we also need one of these down here and we'll put this inside there okay sweet And I guess we probably shouldn't do it this way, but it does no harm. So we're just going to copy this also and just paste this in here. So we're going to have to make one change to our migration also. Um, status. So this is how it is currently. Let's have a look in the actual database. Status text user ID. We're going to need two extra columns, I believe. So I'm just going to copy this for a minute. PHP Alexander make operation update status tables. With Always just make it long so you can. Sorry, guys. Make sure you cd into your directory if you have one. <laughs> Dumb moment there. Okay, so yeah, back to this, copy this. Schema table um, image URL. We're gonna do video in the f future, so we might as well just add that in. And we're gonna want type. Which is gonna be the type image video, whatnot. Okay, so we can now migrate this. Whoops, there we go. That data should now be there. Yep. There we go. We probably should have made them nullable. 
Um, but it is fine. So, why is this still hovering up? So what we're going to do now is in here we can do image URL. But first of all, we need to actually upload the file and move it, don't we? So what we're going to do here is image name equals so we should probably just make a selector for the image uh, import file uh, status image upload and now we can do file name um, ba, 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 ba. we've already checked if it's an image so now all we actually need to do is just move it so what we're actually going to do is image name equals Sorry guys, I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> Image name. Okay, so this is just going to make sure it's always random and we'll have the image name still there. And now all we actually need to do is go into our public directory, um, status, images, and now we can just do image move what do we call it status images and I'm not sure if we I think we should add the forward slash in the end it's probably safer to and then we can just do image name dot what is it to get the to get the extension I believe it is Probably just DD this just to double check. But let's actually test if this works. I'm going to be surprised if this works in first time, guys. Let's refresh. Select an image. What did we import here for validation? Let's remove that so. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm just gonna remove that DD there. Um, and I don't think we need this anymore. And I'm gonna just change this to request. I feel I feel that should be definitely request. And so this should probably be Yep. Um and I'm just gonna Uh, 
That's a little bit coming that out. Okay, so we need to change this as well to this. Okay. Um, we're also missing one thing, which is the type. And we're just going to do one for this. So now we can also go into home to the status stuff. Just going to open this. Now here we can do at whoops, if status type equals one and if image src um, now we should do asset and it's going to be status images forward slash dot status image URL and that's just to be sure that it's always going to be responsive um, so let's delete these last two failed attempts and let's just um, upload a picture of myself here and hope it works. <laughs> okay, so here's my cell. Let's inspect what's going on here. So, it's not working because of, that's the, that's there. Did it upload the image? No, it didn't. So, why not? So, it should be right. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's not. <laughs> um, maybe we don't need this and we don't need this. Let's delete this one. Try one more time. There we go. Yeah, basic, basic mistake. So, yeah, there we have it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, eh? Um, so yeah, you could, you, you guys could go ahead and take this same thing and just use it here. It's the exact same, and it's pretty cool. I think um, next tutorial we should actually go ahead and start doing this user following system um, and such like that and displaying the status person here. Maybe redesign this a little bit, it looks pretty bad. Don't know if you guys agree or not, but I, I'd say so. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys. Have a good time.